11-year-old Isam Dam, a boy born with hereditary deafness, was the first to receive the experimental treatment in the United States. Doctors at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia inserted a dose of gene therapy into his inner ear. And a month later, he could hear. That's if you heard that, tell me yes. Pretty cool. His hearing has improved from a, a state of complete and profound deafness with no sound at all to the level of mild to moderate hearing loss. Researchers at Fudan University in China and at Boston's Massachusetts Eye and Ear have announced similarly promising results. Their study, published this week in the Lancet Medical Journal, documents significantly restored hearing in five of six children treated in China. Mama. Mama. Researchers say this child was born with complete deafness. 13 weeks post-surgery, she can hear and respond to her father's voice. Mama. But the studies have so far been small, and only one gene mutation out of the dozens that can cause deafness has been targeted. One of the most important aspect of the study really is to open up a door to show this type of gene therapy can work and for genetic hearing loss. There are also ethical considerations. Teresa Blankmeyer burke is a bioethicist at Gallaudet University who says people with deafness can already flourish. We can see that be the case here with many people in the world who have had experiences of living good lives, happy lives. And I would like to see our science dollars focused on those issues where there's great suffering, where people will die early. Still, researchers are excited. The studies will be presented at a meeting of international hearing researchers in California next month. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.